Hello, my name is Dark Mandal, <clears throat> and today is a free form dreadlock extra video that I'm doing along with the video I did about the honey lemon ginseng uh, tea rinse that I did on a recent video. Uh, someone asked me if uh, I can't remember the exact name of the subscriber viewer, so if I don't, <laughs> if I didn't remember, I'm sorry, but. Um, I just wanted to respond to your question, and you were wondering if um, the tea rinses stay in my pillowcases. Um, actually, they don't, um, because I put the tea rinse on my hair in the daytime, and then I walk around outside doing whatever gardening, um, watering plants in the lawn or whatever, housework, walking up to the store or whatever. Um, in the process of that, my hair absorbs it, and it dries and then when I get ready to go to bed at night I lay down and it doesn't stay in my uh, pillow I think my hair like eats it up it likes it <laughs> so it won't I could see if you put the tea rinse on your hair and then you laid down to take a nap and it didn't dry completely I could see I can mildly stain your um your pillowcase I mean if you are rocking a white pillowcase I mean maybe it's more fragile and vulnerable to the tea rinses, <laughs> but um, uh, I guess I wouldn't worry too much about it. I know black tea, it, uh, it could stain, all these teas can have a stain to them to your hair to give it a color, um, but for me, I've been experienced having like, you know, stains all over my pillowcase because I used, uh, I mean, if you use like say hibiscus tea hair rinse, you know, hi hibiscus tea has this red more like a almost maroon color reddish maroon color and um, when you pour it on your hair um, as a rinse as a conditioner it can have a stain to it but it's the thing staining uh, from your hair from a tea rinse is different from staining say from a commercial dye like if you dyed your hair black and you didn't rinse it out all the way then you have stains all over your all of your pillowcase and your sheets or whatever um, with these kind of hair rinses, I haven't experienced that. Some sort of mosquito trying to bite me. I haven't experienced that at all. Um, so, if you are worried and concerned about that, you can leave the hair rinse on for an allotted amount of time and then rinse it off, rinse it out. Um, if you're going to do that, if you want the true, like a full benefits of the conditioning properties of it, we try leaving it on for a whole hour and just kind of walking around doing your thing and then rinse it out if you want if you're worried about it staining your pillowcases or anything so yeah that's most I can tell you about that I haven't had that problem the only time I had problems with staining my pillowcases was when back in the day ages ago years ago in the 90s when I was still dyeing my hair and um, I would experience that I dyed my hair purple a long time ago um, I think it was late 90s and um, <laughs> I didn't rinse it out all the way and so I had purple everywhere so with this I don't I haven't had to deal with any of that these all natural uh, tea rinses that I do on my hair I haven't had to deal with staining um, I do like to dye clothing and things like that fabrics with tea and over a period of time your hair will pick up that pigment more and more if you use it all the time I've noticed that with the rosemary rinses um, I don't have a lot of rosemary, so I haven't been using a lot of that lately. I've been mainly, you know, using other things like the honey lemon ginseng. Um, but with the rosemary, over a period of time of using it over and over again, my hair has a red tinge to it. Um, and that wasn't the purpose of using it, was to dye my hair. The purpose of using any of these uh, herbal rinses is to condition my hair and to keep it as healthy as I can keep it and to continue to learn more and more and that's why I decided to also do something different than just the rosemary rinse, um, rosemary spearmint rinse which is an excellent one uh, for hair growth but I just wanted to show you guys that there's so many more types of herbs out there that you could use for your hair rinses other than rosemary and spearmint um, there's all kinds so uh, do your research and find out more and I'll try to bring to you more of these beneficial herbs for your hair rinses. So thanks for joining me today for today's little uh, freeform dread like um, extra, I guess you call it. 
I hope you found it helpful and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for uh, subscribing to my channel. Thanks for the likes and shares. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know what kind of hair rinse you're using. And if you'd like to support this channel, you could donate a dollar or more to my PayPal at kdaddytmama at comcast.net and include a question you'd like to see answered on an upcoming show. And until then, brightest blessings to you all and I will see you soon.